Hello students. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to put objects inside your Bitmoji, I mean your virtual locker or your cubby. Um, I am currently obsessed with Bitmoji so I'm going to start with one of those. I have my uh, Bitmoji toolbar done and I'm going to type the word pose in there to get the people standing up. P-O-S-E. Um, you don't necessarily have to start this way, but I enjoy doing it. So she's going to, my little person is going to pop in here. And then I'm going to click on these blue squares to make her bigger and actually stand on the ground. Because that would be, be looking funny if she wasn't standing on the ground. Okay, so let's put things inside our locker. And there's two different ways we can do this. Um, first of all, let me just show you how to search the web. Now, when we're doing photography stuff, and I know I'm talking to my, um, I'm, my art students are watching this video too, we um, want to be aware of copyright restrictions. But if we're doing a fun exercise just for us, um, we're not going to worry about copyright too much for this time because um, we are not entering this artwork into a contest or anything. Uh, so inside my locker, I went to um, Arizona State. So I'm going to write, I want to find an image of Arizona State University logo, and I want to find it transparent. So I'm going to do that. And again, how did I do there, get, get here? I went to insert image from web and this little um, sidebar popped up right here. So I have um, Arizona State University. Here we go. Let's, let's pick this one. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it to my locker. And let's see if this is transparent. It's thinking about it. Um, yeah, so at first it looked like it had a white background, but when I put it on here, yes, indeed, it is transparent. Um, so I'm going to hold down my shift key to make sure I don't stretch it too much. And I'm going to move it down. And I want to put this on my locker door. So again, I'm holding that um, blue square and also holding down the shift key. And I'm using the trackpad on my Chromebook, but if you would like, you can get a, a USB mouse or plug one in um, and it's much easier to use. I have a bunch of mouse here. If you want to stop by the school and pick one up, send me an email and I can have one waiting for you in the office. All right, so here I have ASU. You can also use your arrow keys to move this up or down. Um, now I want to put some pictures of my children in here and my family, but I also want them to be transparent. So how do we do that? I put them in, the pictures are already loaded in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go to this uh, website called Remove Background. It's remove.bg. And this is very good for low resolution photos. Not so good for high resolution photos. Since we're doing a small teeny weeny locker, we're okay. Um, so right here it says upload the image. So I am going to find the image that I want to make transparent. And I have put it in my uh, first days of the semester folder. Remember, Hindi likes to have everything organized by folder. That way it makes it easier to find. So here I have a picture of my daughter, Samantha, and we went to the beach a little while. So let's see what this does. All right, there she is. Could not identify foreground. Eh? Okay, well, let's try another picture. How can we do that? And go back to remove background. Let's do this again. Sometimes things don't work. Upload image. Let's try this again. I think maybe it didn't like it because the background is all different directions. So we're going to try this again, campers. All right. So let's try the portrait of Elizabeth. And I'm going to open that one. All right. Let's see if this one will work. Cross fingers. All right, so here it's loading and bam, there's the background gone. It worked, woohoo. So over here is a blue button that says download. So, um, and down here it says high resolution picture. Remember this is a teeny locker. We don't need it to be high resolution. Um, so I'm gonna click that. Now you can, of course, if you are very gifted at Pixlr or uh, photo 
Photopia, you can delete the background using the eraser key. Oh no, I missed it. I was I meant to hit, click the copy clipboard picture icon thing. All right, so let's go back and do this again. So insert image. Now remember, where does the image live? It lives in my um, downloads folder. So I hit upload from computer, and then it's going to ask me where is the picture, Hindi? And I'm going to say it's over here. And did I download it? I can't remember download. Oh, yep, it's in my downloads folder. That's where it is. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, so here's Elizabeth portrait remove background preview. All right, let's click on that. So there she is. Hello, Lizzie. All right, so again, she is super big. Let's make her smaller. I'm going to click on the blue square and hold my mouse and click and drag. Make it a little bit smaller. Where should we put her? Should we put her on a shelf? Should we put her on the wall? Um, let's put her on the shelf. And then let's make her smaller because I want to put her sister next to her in a minute. And there she is. All right, so I've just showed you two methods of putting pictures in your locker. One is just searching for them on the web. Remember to search with the word transparent. So whatever you're going to say, transparent. Um, and then the other one is we're removing the background from the remove.bg website. If you have any questions, email me. Bye campers.